Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee with all you. It's sunny, but I tell you what, when I first got up this morning, it was cold. 30 degrees outside, and it was like only 40 degrees inside. Started a fire, started my coffee, and now it's like 60, 64 degrees in here. Oh my gosh. It is just so different in here this year than last year. The walls have made a huge difference now that they're covered, they're insulated. And I think maybe even that one little strip made a difference, but um, it warms up really, really quickly. So that's great. Anyhow, I woke up this morning with this overwhelming sense of doom. And it was really weird. I mean, I suffer from depression uh, anyhow, so, you know, uh, sometimes my, my thoughts wander, um, but this was a, a very distinct sense of, oh my gosh, something weird or bad is going to happen. The last time this happened was way, way, it was like 20 years, 25 years ago, maybe, um, I was in Ohio and I had a, a rock and metal website and um, I would go photograph bands live. I'd go to OzFest or wherever they were playing around Ohio or Pennsylvania. Um, the band's management or labels would call me up and ask me if I wanted to interview so-and-so. I got to interview a whole bunch of different bands. I got to interview Gene Simmons from Kiss, um, Jeff Tate from Queensryche, uh, let's see, Philip Anselmo, um, Des Fafara, um, I, I mean, just so many different people. I can't remember. Lots of death metal bands. Um, and most of them you may have never heard of. But um, I, I just had a really good time. So I was supposed to go to this one concert in Columbus at the El Rosa Villa. And um, Damage Plan was playing there. That's, um, you know, Dimebag Daryl's and Vinnie Paul's... Um, new band after Pantera split. I wasn't supposed to cover Damage Plan. I was just asked to cover another band. I can't even remember who it was. It was an opener. The night before, I uh, I was filled with this overwhelming sense of doom. So I tried to find somebody else to go cover the comp concert for me, but I couldn't find anybody. But all I knew is something told me that I shouldn't go. Um, so I didn't go. And I fell asleep with the TV on. The next morning I woke up and I had heard that Dimebag Daryl had been shot and killed. And multiple other people were shot and killed from the venue, including some security people. And had I gone, I would have been right up front in front of that stage. I, I can see where the guy entered. I know exactly his trajectory. I would have been right in his path. So God saved me. So... I've got that same kind of feeling. I, I just this nervous, jittery feeling this morning. So I'm going to stick around the homestead. I am just going to do what I did <laughs> and not go and do something that I had a weird feeling about. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put up some curtains. Maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. About all I've managed to do today is move some wood around, gather some more because i got to bring it inside because the next few days are going to be really, really cold and I want to be prepared. I was on the wood pile and I took this one piece of wood off and there was a uh, black widow spider on it. I killed it and no, I didn't bring that piece of wood into the house but i got to inspect every piece of wood to make sure that it doesn't have bugs in it or on it or whatever, especially not a black widow spider. What do you think? Rooster or no? I don't know. i got to pick up those containers. Where's Rocky 2? Oh, there's Rocky 2. Yeah, pretty much looks like a rooster, don't you think? Come on out, fella. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the tail feathers definitely look like a rooster. Bigger comb. Um, I love the Easter egg or tufts of feathers right by the ears. Hey, Patsy. You sure are getting pretty. Oh, look it. Not just the beautiful rooster and the chickens, but this netting has been collecting and drying out leaves for me. 
So yeah, I can go gather some of that, put some of it in that bag with the composting bulk material. And um, it's, yeah, very dry. Uh, it rained yesterday, so I may let it dry just a little bit more and then come out and get it. What's up, Torch? You feeding your ladies? I'll go get you some grass, okay? I'll be back in a bit. I think I'm gonna cook a casserole, some lasagna type stuff or something. So I'm gonna see if I can get the temperature on this stove up enough to be able to cook it. If not, I can just put it on the the propane cooktop. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm hungry though. And there it is. It's kind of a spinach, bacon, feta cheese, lasagna sort of a thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover it with foil and hopefully that oven is hot enough so I can pop it in. Oh yeah, yeah, that heated up pretty quick. So I'm gonna pop it in and see how long it takes. I have lined the walls with some foils, so hopefully I can retain a little bit more of the heat. I used to put it on the bottom, but I actually think that prevented the heat from getting in. So let me close this and see what temperature we're down to now. It dropped a little bit, but I'm gonna stoke the fire and it'll come right back up. Mm. Okay, I think this is done. I'm gonna plate it up. I can never plate up lasagna so it looks pretty, but I bet you this is gonna taste good. I forgot. I've gotta let it sit for about 15 minutes before I slice it up. So it's just about time for chicken chores. Uh, make sure they're all up in their respective coops, safe and sound. So I think I'll just go do that and then come back and have my dinner. There it is. Yes, the puppies want it. It wasn't a very, you know, thick. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you can't have any. It wasn't a very thick uh, lasagna. I just had it in a little pan, but the layers turned out great. It has spinach, it has some olives, some feta cheese, some bacon bits, some real bacon bits, uh, cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, garlic, um, you know, herbs, and lots of different things like that. So I'm just going to try this right now. These puppies literally are not going to let me do this. They want some of this so bad. No, puppies, get down. I'm not giving them any of this. I'm just going to get a bite. It's going to look messy, but I don't care. Oh, mmm. Mmm. It's good. It is very, very good. And I use dehydrated mozzarella cheese. I use dehydrated spinach. I used... I don't know, lots of survival food type stuff, but it turned out great. So I'm just going to finish this. Chickens are still kind of milling about out there. So I've got a little bit more time. Oh, the lasagna and the noodle. Whoa! The lasagna noodles turned out perfect, and I don't pre-hook them. I just put them in and put in some extra sauce. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Perfect. Right on. Dinner is in my belly, and the chickens aren't quite in their coops yet. Um, I've discovered it's better just to wait until they go, take a flashlight out, do a head count, babies, and uh, instead of trying to chase them into the coop. Um, but yeah, things are winding down, so whatever that feeling was that I was having this morning, hopefully it was for nothing and everything is okay. Um... Yeah, I, I think everything's okay. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.